If you've been struggling to connect the Gohai Level MCP server directly to your Claude desktop, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a couple minutes in this video. So Gohai Level released some documentation on how you can go about connecting this directly to your Claude desktop. However, this code right here is incorrect and I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do in order to get this working. First things first, install node.js. You just want to go to nodejs.org slash en slash download. Over here, just specify whether you're on Mac or Windows. Uh, go ahead and download and install this. You're going to need that before you can do anything. Once that's done, you're going to head over to your Go High level. You need to go into your settings. You need to go under the private integrations section of your sub account, not your agency. Once you're in here, you're going to hit create new integration. In here, you can specify any name that you want. You can call it Claude Desktop. You can provide a description. You can hit next. Under scopes, you can specify what you want to give the server access to. So if you have some delicate information, you might not want to give it your contacts, but you might want to share your calendars, edit your calendars. There's a bunch of different settings that you can modify and choose to your liking in here. Regardless, though, this isn't necessarily going to be the exact tools that the system is going to have. For that information, just go back to the high level documentation. I'll be linking that in the description below, as well as the correct code that you need and the node.js download site. Now in here under the Go High Level article, you can see these are the top 21 tools available. These are the tools that agents can use today. Uh, a lot of stuff with calendars, tasks, creating and updating contacts, sending messages, very important. A bunch of different tools that it's gonna have access to. So whenever you're setting up your Go High Level scopes, uh, just kind of keep that in mind that whatever you're setting up here isn't necessarily what it can actually do. This is what it can actually do. However, in the future, they may expand what the tools that the MCP server uh, has can actually do. So it may impact it in the future. Just keep that in mind whenever you're setting this up here. So once you're done, go ahead and hit create. That'll take you back to the main screen where I was before. Make sure you copy your PIT key. It'll be a PIT dash. It should look, it should look kind of like this here that you see on screen. So make sure you go ahead and copy that token, save it in your notes somewhere. Then head over to your business profile. Under your business profile, you're going to go ahead and copy your location ID by just hitting this little square box. It'll say copied up here on the right. And so once you're done with that, head over to the description at the bottom of this video and go ahead and copy the code, which is what you're going to be pasting into your cloud desktop config. If you've never used cloud desktop, you're just going to want to go ahead and open cloud desktop here. You can click cloud, go to settings under developer, hit edit config. That'll open the actual file that you need to modify. Go ahead and open that file with text edit, notes, Visual Studio Code, whatever tool you have available to you. And you're going to go ahead and paste in the code that's found in the description of this video. Once you've pasted that, go ahead and modify your PIT token for the one that you had copied. Go ahead and modify your location ID for the one that you had copied. Once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and shut down. And then we're just going to go ahead and restart. It. And just like that, we can check over here under the tools. We can see we have prod GHL MCP in here. We can disable specific tools or disable all tools if we want to. And just like that, you can start utilizing GHL MCP for all your different tasks and your day to day operation. What are some things that we can do? Well, if you just look at the tools that we have available here, we can get calendar information to see if we're available for bookings. We can create new contacts. We can send messages. We can update opportunities, find out information in pipelines. But we can say things like check the X pipeline, spe this specific stage, what names are under that specific stage at this moment. So you can know what clients you've closed this month. Or we can say things like get the most recent message we received from Rob, analyze his message and send a response right back to him. That makes sense based on the context that he sent over. Or we can get creative with it. We are in the middle of a meeting, we're on a Google Meet, we're presenting something to a client, and a friend just sent us a message saying that he wants to book an appointment with us for next week, Tuesday at 10 a.m. You can go ahead and tell Claude directly, hey, create this contact in my CRM, his name is Bob Testing, his phone number is this, and go ahead and check my calendar for next week, Tuesday at 10 a.m. to see if I have any availability. Once you've checked, send him a message letting him know that I do have availability and, and ask him if he'd like to schedule a call for that time. Now, while this one doesn't necessarily have create appointments yet, create calendar appointments yet, we do have custom GHL MCP servers that we've been setting up directly from GitHub uh, directly into Cloud Desktop, and we've been experimenting with them. They have over 200 different tools that they can actually call on, making it a lot more versatile as to what it can do, including the booking of appointments. 
We're going to be creating a video that's a little bit more in-depth explaining all the different functions that you can utilize with MCPs. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Check out qwavelabs.io if you want us to implement solutions like these into your business. If you want us to create an AI agent that has access to all these same tools, and instead of you being the one in the driver's seat prompting it on what to do, having it just run and make decisions autonomously, that's exactly what we do over here. We'd love to have a conversation with you and expand on how exactly it is that we can help you if it turns out that we're a good fit to work together. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.